When it comes to the big bad of the multiverse saga, Kang the Conqueror, Marvel and Disney are in kind of a tough spot. Sure, actor Jonathan Majors is a great actor who can totally pull the role off, but given the domestic abuse allegations that surfaced against him earlier this year, Marvel seems to be seeking a way to move on. One way that they're reportedly thinking of getting past this is quietly pushing Kang out of the spotlight and instead putting Doctor Doom front and center. Which, given that the closing film of the saga is going to be Secret Wars, presumably based off the 2015 comic arc of the same name, that feature Doom as the ultimate villain, that does make some sense. However, given the multiverse angle of the saga, there's another villain who could totally fit the Kang bill. The Maker. The Maker started out as the Ultimate Universe version of Reed Richards, and in a lot of ways, he was basically the same as the one from the mainline comic continuity. However, a lot of pretty awful and tragic things happened to him that caused him to break bad, transforming into the Maker. The smartest man alive becoming evil? You can imagine how much damage he was capable of inflicting. In a nutshell, shell the maker is ruthless and with enough multiversal implications that guarantee he's got what it takes to make our heroes go through the worst of times. While Doctor Doom is a logical choice to replace Kang from a business standpoint, there's no need to waste a big name villain this way. They should prioritize fleshing out that character instead of dumping him into the mix when the multiverse saga is already halfway through its run. The maker is a rich and interesting alternative whose backstory makes it totally plausible for him to cross paths with many of the heroes set to debut or return in phase five and six and eventually become the saga's main villain. Some final tweaking would be needed, given that the Maker Dynasty doesn't sound as appealing as the Kang Dynasty, but that would be the least of the problems for Marvel Studios right now. 